so so my understanding also is that uh, some of the are are the banks now also tightening uh, lending lending practices, i.e., higher percent down, higher credit scores, all that kind of stuff. What's what's yes. the with that? Everything going on now, again, particularly in the realm outside of the Fannie Mae size loan, and I'll say the reason we the reason there's a difference is because the Fannie Mae loans are quasi federal backed in the first place. Okay. So they can't suddenly make changes overnight and all these various changes just because the market is, is changing like this. It's a very stable, stabilized kind of source of lending. And so everything else, it, uh, so, the, so the, the conforming loans themselves aren't having these giant variations that I'm about to point out. But otherwise, the jumbo loans and certain investor purchase loans and things like this are having across the board the lenders have either suspended lending in some cases or required uh the loan to value to be dropped from 80 percent to 70 percent for one thing minimum credit score 740 maximum debt ratio 38 instead of 43. um in some cases some lenders have actually put a caveat that liquid uh post liquidity Post-closing liquidity of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more, which is completely, you know, ridiculous. More right. or less, uh, it's all you know, it's like worse than the co-ops. But the the lender now requiring amazing amounts of post-closing liquidity, at least in order to get the absolute cheapest loan, particularly seven-year arm or ten-year arm or something like that. I see. Okay, so so just kind of with that then. So so what are you recommending? uh to your clients to to you know ace do you want to maybe sit tight till late summer early fall to tell all of these uh perhaps lending practices go back to what again i'm calling a new normal or are you suggesting look if it's a million dollar property and you get the fannie mae freddie mac uh backed security up to 510 maybe you should put down you know, four hundred and ninety thousand cash if you have it. Borrow the five ten and then refi a year or so later. Okay, so that brings up an interesting point. The in this particular category where the property prices are right around a million or just under a million, if the borrower was already going to be putting say twenty percent down, mm -hmm. in this case that loan amount would be just out you know outside of the five hundred and ten thousand dollar maximum for the standard conforming Fannie Mae loan, which is the cheapest version and the safest way to go. It's, it's the loan that will most likely close without a whole bunch of rigmarole and so forth. And so my suggestion at the time for the present time is that we are putting together piggyback loans for these people. And what that means is a we're, ma we're giving them, let's say 80% of 999,000 or whatever the price is, um, and we will do the a first mortgage loan of 510 and a secondary piggyback HELOC loan on top of it to bridge the gap. And the reason being is because the HELOC, the combination of those two is considerably cheaper to the consumer than taking one single 80% uh, jumbo loan. 